Just want to start off by saying hello to everybody. We hope you're staying safe and healthy while we're navigating through this tough time. But to help pass the time, we thought it'd be really fun to all get together and chat and share some stories because the May 16th Honor Flight was pushed to October. What a better way to spend some time together. I'm Maddie Glab. I'm one of the team reporters for the Buffalo Bills, and I'm so happy to be joined by some of our wonderful players, Deion Dawkins, Levi Wallace, and Taryn Johnson. Uh, the mission of the Honor Flight is to transport America's veterans to Washington, D.C. to visit the memorials dedicated to honoring those who have served and sacrificed for our country. Today we have several veterans with us, many of whom who will be on our next Honor Flight and some who have already been on Honor Flights. We have vets representing World War II, the Berlin Crisis, the Korean War, the Cold War, and the Vietnam War. We also have Eric Weichman with us, with us who is an M&T Bank representative and Buffalo Niagara Honor Flight board member, and Donna, a rep from the Buffalo Dolls. The May Buffalo Niagara Honor Flight was made possible by grants from the M&T Bank, as well as the Buffalo Bills Foundation. So Eric, would you like to get us started by saying a few words on behalf of M&T and the Honor Flight? Yeah, sure, thanks Maddie, and uh, good afternoon everyone. You know, obviously I wish that we were meeting under different circumstances, but regardless, it's, it's great to see all of you here today. And so as Maddie mentioned, I'm wearing a couple hats today. Um, I've worked at M&T for close to 20 years and M&T Bank is a sponsor of the Buffalo Niagara Honor Flight. You know, M&T Bank really believes that um, a strong bank is made up of a, of a strong set of communities. And it really encourages employees such as myself to get involved in organizations and M&T is very lucky to have found the Buffalo Niagara Honor Flight because it allows us uh, to support individuals such as yourselves and, and honor your service and sacrifice. Um, putting my Honor Flight hat on on behalf of the Buffalo Niagara Honor Flight and its, its board and its volunteers, I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of you for your service. You know, as an organization, obviously we've, we've had to hit the pause button a little bit in light of COVID-19 and all the travel restrictions. But I just wanted to remind all of you today that as an organization, we are not going anywhere. Um, uh, we will resume our activities when it's safe for all of us to travel to Washington, D.C. together. And um, all of you remain on our list for our next flight. And this is a wonderful call that's put on by the Buffalo Bills, and we appreciate it. But um, it, it does not replace uh, the, the trip, and you are still on our list. And uh, the Buffalo Niagara Honor Flight will never forget any of you and your service and sacrifice. So, so thank you so much for taking the time to be on the call today. And um, it, it is really great to see all of you despite under different circumstances. Thank you, Eric, appreciate it. Taryn, Levi, and Dion, you guys have all been on Honor Flights in the past. So how about we start off by just sharing something that you remember about the honor flight or your favorite part dion would you like to start first of all uh everybody hello and thank you all for uh but your service and um once again i'm happy to be here and uh i would say that that the biggest thing that i remember of course i mean i hate to you know sit like single out just one person but uh i i created a, a friendship like over over that one light and uh, the endless laughter and just the the huge personality that uh that not that i didn't know that i could have but that just struck out of nowhere and it was just like wow you know like these people from western new york are special at all different age age groups and uh and they're still them and uh it was it was just a pure and just genuine experience from flying from buffalo to washington and walking around and just you know, throw, like throwing back stories and back and forth and uh, just getting a little bit of inside of their life while they're getting a, a bit of ours. Taryn, what stood out to you from the honor flight? What do you remember about that trip? Uh, I would have to say uh, the energy. Uh, when I got on the plane, it was probably, it was, I want to say six, six in the morning and everyone just had that energy, just excited. And that's, that's a big deal for me. You know what I'm saying? Just how, how people wake up in the morning and just the kind of energy they bring to one another. And that was probably the most exciting thing for me. And Levi, what about you? What did you remember most about the honor flight? Yeah, to piggyback off of Dion and Taryn, like they said, the, the energy and just the attitudes and the personalities of, of everyone. I mean, 
I've, I've walked into the airport and there was jokes nonstop until we got back to Buffalo. Um, and then you had, uh, I, I'm not sure what the, the, the singers, the lady singers, um, singing in a corner like amazing energy, like, you know what I mean? Like, it was just a great time um, to be able to share that experience and just to bond with people that I thought I would never get to meet. Um, just so that opportunity that I had was amazing. For our vets on the call who have been on an honor flight or are going to go on, a, go on one soon enough, uh, do you guys want to share what you enjoyed about a previous flight or what you're excited about for the upcoming flight? I'm excited because I'm going with my granddaughter. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, my granddaughter. And uh, although I've been, I've, I've gone to the airport and watched them leave. And uh, this is gonna be my first time going. What was that experience like watching people leave on an honor flight and getting to feel some of the energy in the airport watching people head to Washington, D.C.? Well, uh, you know, I, I think uh, well, veterans, uh, it's hard because I, you know, I had uncles and I lost some in the service. So I'm, I'm going like to see their names on the wall. I've been a Bills season ticket holder since 1962. I'm, I'm excited about the Buffalo Bills. I hope they hear me. <laughs> <laughs> we hear you loud and clear. <laughs> you, guys, you, you, you guys got the town a little bit excited, all my friends. We, we did this on draft day with my son in Vegas. And, Friends, that, I used to coach hockey, and uh, I uh, I had friends all over. Like we were all on from Florida, uh, Carolinas, and we were on your draft picks. I I guess the first one right. I said we were going to take a defensive end, but yeah, we're, I'm pretty excited about the season. The opener, we have a tailgate, like maybe 60 people. They come from Florida, from Texas, from from Phoenix, from Vegas. I watch TV and I get, I'm like, oh, they're picking you guys to win the division. <laughs> I would rather, I'd rather, we weren't, we weren't being picked, <laughs> but I'd still like to win. Rich, it sounds like you have a lot to look forward to in the coming months, including an honor flight. Does anyone else want to share about what they're excited about for the upcoming honor flight in October or what they remembered most about a previous honor flight they've been on? Or with my dad. Uh, my dad, I'm going with him as a sponsor. He's a Vietnam vet. And my son currently serves in the Army and he's stationed at Fort Myer. And they quite often do the honor ceremony when the flights land. So we're hoping that that might be something they can work out. Wow, that sounds pretty amazing. That would be really exciting. Levi and Taryn, you guys come from military backgrounds, so would you guys like to share how coming from a military background has made you the person you are today? Levi, would you like to start? Yeah, so um, my dad was in the Air Force, served 21 years, um, passed away back in 2014 to uh, ALS, um, but just the dedication that he had and um, the discipline that he instilled in me, um, I know that came from his military background with getting up extremely early in the morning to, he was an aircraft mechanic um, and just being dedicated to his job and doing that to provide for um, my mom at the time, you know, just hearing all those stories and, and the great role model that he was, um, definitely got instilled in me. Taryn, how has being from a military background shaped the person that you are today? Um, I would have to say just the fact that he raised me, uh, me and my sister on his own, and I felt like that that showed his character a lot and in, in how he did it, just based off of all the things that he taught me and my sister, and really realizing that, yeah, like what we do, what playing football like that's that's fun and it, and it's competitive but there's people out there that that really that really have to go against somebody else like uh for real so it just helps me not to take for granted 
um, just everything that I have and, and how God, people like, like, like the people on this call right now help, help keep us safe every, every single day. Any of our vets on the call, would any of you like to share how serving in the military has helped shape you as a person, whether it's how you go through life or whether it's played a part in your personality? This is Frankie again. Uh, my family, it's quite, quite a few military people in it. I had two uncles in Second World War. Other than that, I've had five years in the service. And uh, it was kind of rough because we had a six-month-old baby when I went in the second time. But we survived, and uh, all my kids were there to greet me when I, we came back in the airport. It was quite a, quite a show they put on. Like I said, the bagpipes, oh, they were loud. Wow. And uh, I don't think Dion wasn't there. I heard he was home eating. <laughs> Who am I going to hear about it now? Uh-oh, there he is. <laughs> I met his family once, and his, his mother looked rather tired. Then I figured out why. After feeding him all them years, no one is <laughs> tired. <laughs> yeah. Everybody Frame. likes that too, huh? <laughs> Oh, you're gonna hear that for a long time, buddy. But, uh, and, uh, was, uh, Dion was uh, very cheerful in the life of the party, and I don't know if his wife knew about how he was dancing with the girls in D.C. Ah, so you thought we got away with it, huh? <laughs> Come on now, Frank. You're supposed to be on my side. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, but uh. One, one thing I, I did enjoy was when you guys left, you drove home because you had to be at, at and practice the next day. Guess who had your meal? Ah, it was good. Oh, was it good? See the worried look on Deanne's face already? <laughs> <laughs> this one? Hey, hey, but, but um, if I could say... And one thing, I definitely made up for that meal. Because as soon as I uh, got back, I had a meal, and I woke up and went to practice. <laughs> oh, you're good. You're good, buddy. You're good. Right back at me, huh? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. No, but it was a pleasure meeting you. And uh, do you remember me telling you about when we got off the bus, ready to go into the hotel? About I didn't see any wildlife as we drove along the road. Until we got near the hotel, I saw two bears hugging a tree to get out of your way. <laughs> Between that, listen, listen, it doesn't stop. It doesn't yeah. stop. Like, like it is a, it is an yeah. ongoing yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, like, if we ever meet again, I'll make sure it's at a distance. And we will. And we will. Because no. I'm staying I know, away. From uh, and, but the next like, time, and that, and we do eat. And uh, and we're getting ready to to uh, eat dinner or lunch or breakfast, whenever it is. I will be sure to um, make sure that I take a little bit off of your plate, just so I can sit there and say this is for the meal that I missed and that you ate after the hot flight. Not again! Oh, jeez! <laughs> <laughs> oh man! You two have some jokes. I like it. Yeah. Well. We enjoyed it with uh, Dion and Gray, where uh, they, they moved right along with us. All, and uh, we, we stopped for for a lunch break, and I was, had to hide my lunch from uh, you know who. <laughs> what? Oh well. What are you gonna do? Next next time you see me, you'll avoid me. I think so. Well, it was good to see you again and hear from you. You did a terrific job, and I think all the guys on a, our trip all will remember you for a long time. So take care and good luck. Thank you, Frankie. Okay, bye now. Much love. What about any of our players, Taryn, Levi, Dion? 
getting to interact with some of these veterans, uh, how has that, I guess, shaped your respect that you have for those in the military? Getting to go on an honor flight, experience all of that. How does that help you maybe understand what they went through, understand just how you're able to respect uh, a lot of these people who fought for our country? Um, well, uh, like I would say that um, off of the top, it just shows that uh, just a respect level. You know, that they see us as hard working athletes. We go to practice every day. We live a schedule just like how they did breakfast, lunch, dinner, meetings, whatever it was like, if it was drill, anything. Like uh, I would say in a way we are similar, but they are the, the true warriors. And um, it's just, it's just a res like a, re a respect thing. Cause um, we like we can understand to an extent just to a, a small extent that these guys are, are extremely extremely hard workers and uh like but like uh taryn said that uh that they were for real battle like they were for real like life or death and um you know and and we just have a small embedded at like whether it's a win or a lose and um I would say it's just respect, all and respect, because uh, they have th the same similar mindset as us. I think for me, um, I I've had the utmost respect for our military for um, a long time, you know, um, just seeing my dad uh, being retired from it. And um, just like Dion said, it's, it's different when you think that we work hard, you know, um, and then to understand what they have went through, um, to losing brothers and friends um, through that. And then you go and meet them and they have these goofy personalities and still crack jokes. And then you think like, wow, my, my life is, it has never even been remotely as hard as, as what they went through. And for them to have these still positive, upbeat personalities, still cracking jokes at that age, you know, I'm like, yo, I need to change some things on myself. You know, it's never as bad as it always seems. So they, they've given me a different perspective on life. For for me, I would say just just the fact that not only respect, but uh, thankfulness. I'm uh, just thankful that whether you're drafted or or you wanted to go on your own in the first place, just the fact that you're doing that, putting your life on the line for other people is just special in itself. Um, that's, that's probably the biggest takeaway that I took away from it. And it's just, it just all comes back to just humility and just realizing that there's people out there doing something while we're at home, while we're at home living our lives, there's people out there that their lives are to protect ours. And that's just something to, uh, to be proud of. I want to open the floor to everybody. Does anybody have any questions for Dion, Levi, or Taryn? Or you three, do you have any questions for our veterans? Maddie, I was just going to say I want to thank the Bills and uh, also the Sabres and my beloved Pittsburgh Pirates. I'm Bill Chris from uh, Westfield, New York. And uh, all the time that I did spend in the service, helped me later in life uh, uh, working for the government, uh, state of Pennsylvania as an investigator. And later I became mayor of Westfield. And I think the, the background and training and uh, discipline uh, probably helped me. I really appreciate everything the bills are doing for the, for the veterans and, and for everything else they do. Thank you. Thank you, Vince. We appreciate you sharing. Does anybody have any questions for these guys as it relates to the season? Because I'm sure they're just as excited to play some football as you guys are. Yeah. Are you guys practicing at all? Are they practicing? Or are, no. you guys all, or are you guys all locked down at home? We're no, all locked down at home. This is pretty much our practice. We, we do Zoom calls like this. 
uh, for a few hours a day. The other question I have is, how do you guys do it? <laughs> I go, I go to football games, you know, and watch. And I, and I remember the, there's a, there's a, some of the older guys. Well, you remember, I was, I sat, I sat maybe twenty yards from when uh, Lincoln got hit by Stratton. I heard, I heard the noise. I heard the cracking when he, the ribs and all that. But I watch you guys bounce off, you know. I've been down on that field. It's like walking on concrete. <laughs> you, 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 you safeties and your receivers that, I mean, you guys take your bodies and hold my, how do you prepare for that? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, like, like I would say, and it's really no way to and prepare to get hit, but uh, you could just strengthen and the body by uh and by lifting weights and 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 flexibility but uh like i would say it's just the willpower like just as easy um that you guys can can go out there and protect our entire and country is the same for us like we can go out there and put a helmet on and entertain the world you know and uh it's just the willpower and how about are you guys as excited as we are about the season? Extremely excited. <laughs> <laughs> extremely, extremely excited. This is just a small hiccup. Um, well, a big hiccup in the world. But uh, we're going to get through this. <laughs> yeah, I think, my, I just uh, – I hope we get through this and then there is a season and uh, – it turns out what everybody's predicting on you guys. Yeah. It'd be great for you guys, and but I'll tell you, it'd be greater for the city of Buffalo. For yeah. sure. For sure. For sure. Just uh, and just keep in mind, the better we get as a football team, the harder it gets for us oh, to no. win. No, I know. They've yeah, because everybody, like everybody, has a big target. On the uh, on the Buffalo Bills back now, and uh, they're gonna come swinging. So and we got to be at our best, and I'm pretty sure we will. Yeah, good luck to you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Rich, the better they get, and the tougher it gets for them. That means you got to just cheer even louder. When well, hey, I I was I was there for four Super Bowls in them stands. I mean. Uh, you know, the comeback game, the – I almost walked out. <laughs> My son kept me in, but, uh, you know, I know it gets – I mean, they uh, – uh, I'm just hoping if uh, we had a good quarterback with Jim Kelly, hoping we got a good one now, and uh, we can do it. We know? do. We do? Okay. We have a great one. <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way. I, I think so, too. I, uh, I think I think so. Yeah, I think uh, we saw the luck that we got to him. I like I I like all the additions uh, that we added. On paper, it looks good, but we have to prove it. I know that. Yeah. But I know you guys work hard. I really do. I know you guys work hard. Uh, and you guys do a, a, a ton of things for the city. You know, the, everything, the food banks and the children's hospital. And so it's 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 it's. It's great that we have you guys. We do our best. Appreciate and it's an honor to be a part of it, man. Honor to be a part of it. Yeah. So, yeah, good luck and have a great season. It was good talking you. to you guys. Looking forward to if we go, if we ever get a chance to go to Washington, that uh, I, I can get up close and personal with you guys. Yeah, and it'll be fun. Guarantee. Just keep Frankie close. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rich, Rich, like I said, um, you guys are on our list. So when it's safe for us to go, we're we're gonna go. And um, I, I have to warn everybody because typically we have we have three buses: the red bus, the blue bus, and and the white bus. And I just hope to God all of you end up on the blue bus because it's my bus and it's by far the best. And um, I'm probably offending other people on the phone right now, but it's it's just the truth. So 
Um, I, we, we really at Buffalo Niagara on our flight, we, we can't wait to see all of you in person and, um, and, and, you know, sort of reinvent and recreate our mission. And, um, you know, I, I just want to show you guys something. My, my son made this, uh, this thank you. And it's got uh, the 75th anniversary flags from, um, uh, from, from D-Day on it. And I thought, uh, thought all of everybody would like it. You can't see it in person, but um, something pretty cool. And he spent a fair amount of time on it. So wanted to make sure you guys saw that. Thanks for sharing that with us, Eric. That's really cool. Uh, before oh, I also wanted to mention too, Maddie, that um, I'm, I'm a son of a Korean War veteran. So my dad served in Korea. So Rich and Bill Art, it's, it's nice to see some other Korean War veterans on the call. Um, you know, you certainly remind me of my dad. So it's nice to see. Thank you for everything. And things are looking up. I played golf this morning for the first time in months. So uh, the world is... How'd you do? Every day, the world's getting better, guys. And beat the pie, beat the Steelers, please beat the Steelers. I think it's oh, just no, beat, beat Vegas, Vegas. Vegas. You got to beat Vegas. Steelers. I got so many enemies in Erie, Pennsylvania, that uh, I need your help. <laughs> Good luck. How many veterans yeah. going on the flight? Yeah, we're, right now, um, you know, when we had the May flight plan, we had around um, 57. And so it's it's hard to say um, as the airlines get more comfortable. And, you know, we, we have to be mindful of not only federal restrictions, but state restrictions and uh, local level restrictions. And, and some of those uh, may pertain to uh, areas outside of Buffalo. So, you know, things may get better here, but if they're not okay in Washington, D.C. yet, um, that'll still prevent us from being able to, to travel. So the, the number will, will probably be around 50, although we, we are looking at, because we, were able, we weren't able to, to travel in May, um, the, the possibility of maybe taking uh, more veterans um, when we're able to travel again. But we're, we're going to do everything that we can. Um, you know, our, our mission is to is to get as many veterans as we possibly can to D.C. to see the monuments erected in their honor. And, um, you know, I think, I think while going to see the monuments, is, it's, it's a wonderful experience. Um, I think equally you'll all find when you go on the trip that just being together is something really special and, um, and something that when I went with my dad, it's something that I remember the most. We just want to give a big thank you to our friends at MNT Bank and the Buffalo Bills Foundation for putting this call together. Uh, hopefully soon we can all get on the Buffalo Niagara Honor Flight rescheduled for October. Bummer, we had to miss some on in May, but hopefully in the near future you all will be, be getting on the next one. Before we sign off, Donna, would you love to lead us in your grand old flag? Oh, I. I would love to. All right, everybody, uh, use all right. your voices. <laughs> we all have to get ready. You're a grand old flag. You're a high flying flag. And forever in peace may you wave. You're the emblem of the land I love, the home of the free and the brave. Every heart beats true for the red, white, and blue, where there's never a boast or brag. And should old acquaintance be forgot, keep your eye on the grand old flag. Thank you, Donna. We appreciate it. You're welcome. The Buffalo Bells and I, we love being in this veterans and we love spending time with them. Um, it's a great honor and it's a privilege to be able to travel and and honor their service and all that they've done for our country. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everybody for joining in today. We appreciate your time and we hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Thank you, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Go Bills. Go Bills. Go Bills. <laughs>